in this second video um, on Edexcel Chemistry Additional Topic 3, we are going to look at the properties of simple covalent compounds. In the last video, we looked at how we draw dot and cross diagrams to show how um, electrons are shared between atoms in simple covalent compounds. Um, and we're just going to use one example we looked at there as the basis of this video. And that example is CF4. Okay, so we showed um, how we would draw the electron structure for the outer shell of an atom of carbon and then fluorine and showed how um, electrons will be shared between the atoms to form a simple covalent compound. In this video, we are going to um, simplify our representation of this um, molecule CF4 and we are going to show it simply like this. C with four Fs around that. Okay. So it's a um, simplified representation of this um, dot and cross diagram where each of these single um, lines here represents a pair of electrons shared between the atoms. Okay, so we're going to use this to explain some of the properties of simple um, covalent compounds or simple covalent molecules. Um, first thing to note, um, and one of the reasons why this is very different to ionic compounds is that this unit, CF4, is an individual molecule. It is not attached to anything else. You've got carbon and four fluorines that are attached together, but they are free to move really wherever they want. So if I had a room that was filled with CF4 molecules, okay, obviously this is a very zoomed in version, but I would have Lots of molecules of CF4. All over the place in this room. Okay. So, why is this the case? Why don't... Um, these molecules all kind of join together and form um, a, a solid light structure like an compound would. Well, the answer lies in the strength of the forces between these molecules. Okay, These covalent bonds between the atoms within a molecule are actually very strong. It's very difficult to break, um, break the, or overcome these forces. It requires a lot of energy. However, the forces between the molecules, okay, so you've got all sorts of forces between these, okay? But these forces are extremely weak. Okay, so even though you've got very strong bonds within molecules, between the molecules, there are only very weak forces. Okay, so each one of these dashed lines represents weak, okay? The proper terminology for forces between molecules is inter- molecular forces. Okay, so we've got very weak intermolecular forces between molecules. Because these forces are weak, it does not take much energy to overcome them and to either melt or to um, boil a sample of CF4, all we need to do is overcome these weak forces. As soon as these molecules are free to float about wherever they want, it's going to be a gas. Okay, So CF4 is a gas at room um, temperature. You would have to get it extremely cold to turn it into a solid. CF4 and most simple covalent compounds have got very low melting points and boiling points. In addition, simple covalent compounds do not conduct electricity. Okay, if we look back, back to our dot and cross diagram, we do not have um, any electrons transferring, they are just shared. So neither of these, or none of the species here, have any charge. They're not positive or negative, they are all neutral atoms still. Therefore, we do not have any charges. Okay, no charges can flow, so they do not conduct electricity. Okay, so just to summarise, simple covalent compounds have low melting and boiling points. Okay, low melting points and boiling points because the forces between the molecules are very weak and therefore easily overcome. They do not conduct electricity.
is één. Because there were no um, there were no charges that were able to flow. Um, 